Robbie O'Keefe, first of all, it's been a while since we last saw heard from you. Um, how have things been at the academy? Yeah, very good. Um, obviously, the uh, boys are back in from the pre-season and uh, the season's kicking on now. All the other age groups are back as well, 9s to 16s, which is... Uh, really important because obviously they've got to get their football in and uh, yeah we're up and running and the season started. Must be nice to get things finally back to normal and seeing all, all the different age groups really kicking on this season. Yeah that's, that's the most important thing is getting them back in the building and getting them playing football again and getting them returning back to some kind of normality. Uh, we had to stage it in terms of their return times and uh, lots of injuries when we first come back even in, in the young age groups because we've had so much uh, periods of in inactivity but uh, we're back now we're up and running and the programme started and uh, there's been some really good performances and uh, yeah we're really happy. It must be quite a, uh, a tough ask to ask those, especially the younger players, after the after the weird times that we all experienced to come back and really show their worth again. Yeah and parents as well, you know, it's, uh, I think that sort of obviously always goes a little bit unnoticed. Um, the kids are quite resilient and uh, you know, they, they, they crack on regardless um, and the parents have done a great job in trying to maintain a, a, a stabilised, normal life, life as much as they can. Um, and we've, you know, it's been difficult for the parents as well because they've had to bring kids here, um, not been able to come in the building, not been able to watch, have to sit in their car for two hours, go off and do whatever they do for a couple of hours. It's been really difficult for them. So you know, we've been really grateful for all the support that the parents have shown throughout this time. And just here at Shepelbury, we see the new barriers go up, new nets go up. Yeah. It's, um, it's nice to see the place getting a little bit of love. Yeah, well, we, I think we've we've had a you know a tough time, but we've been we've been very good in our player progression and our, in our development of players. Um, the, the board and the club have been fantastic in their support. The academy has been unwavering throughout throughout the whole time that I've been here, um, and uh, you know we, we've got the a little bit of investment into the training ground now. Uh, but we, it's like it's like the first team. It's within our means, and uh, the time was right to do it. We we can do it, so we've done it, and um, we definitely punch above our weight as a Cat Free Academy. We know that, and um, you know the stuff going on off the pitch is complementing what's going on the pitch. And just in terms of this season, um, you spoke a bit about the under 18s with Jordan, but other age groups, how has it been so far? Yeah, really good, really happy. Uh, we've we think we've hit a formula that we know has uh, proven to be successful in, in developing developing players. Um, we'll continue to, to focus on that. You know, we've got our, our games programme, but we challenge the players in other ways with Cat 1 and Cat 2 fixtures on a regular basis. Uh, we also dip in and give them a varied diet and play grassroots clubs as well, which, which brings its own challenges. Um, so we've got, a, we've got a formula we're hitting on uh, that at the moment is proven to be very successful and we'll keep, we'll keep uh, going on that same path. And we saw in a week the under-17s beating Crystal Palace. Yeah, that was a really good performance. We were we were young, so we only had four under-17s in the actual team. The rest were 16s and 15s. Um, it was a really good performance against the Category 1 Premier League team. We were well worth the victory. It's only one performance. It's only one night. Um, and the challenge for the players is as, as good as that performance was. They've got to replicate it. Um, Tonight the 15s are going to Arsenal, um, so that another challenge. We've got some 14s going in there as well. Uh, so, uh, weekend academy weekend, we've got Southend, all the age groups. They're always tough games against Southend, and we'll continually put young ones up. Um, and as I say, we, you know, we, we've got a formula. We're, we're, we're confident that formula works, and we'll, and we'll keep trying to push the players through. Just a note on Academy Day on Saturday. It's always a special occasion for the players and you as well, the, the coaching staff, to see supporters here giving, showing their support. For them. Yeah, it is. It's, it's really important for us that um, you know that the, the, the young lads see the support of the, of the, of the supporters. Um, we, we've done some nights over the cut last few seasons, like the under 15s played at the stadium in a, in a game that was really well supported. FA Youth Cups always really supported. Um, and you know these these kids put in an awful, awful lot of uh, work week on week to to play on a Sunday, and it's it's good for for them to play in front of bigger 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 crowds, um, have a lot more people watching the game, um, and then going down to the stadium is always good. It's always a nice family event down there. They bring their parents in along as well, um, and they're really good days. And just finally, I assume the golf this season just continued. Yeah, to improve it, to improve it, you know, we, we can't, you know, the best time to improve is when you're doing well. Um, 
we're, we're doing well at the moment and this is a time to kick on. There's a, there's a few lads up the first team this morning from the 18s. You know, obviously, lads are in the first team from the academy. Um, we want more in the first team. We want more 16s and 15s in the 18s. We want more 12s and 13s in the 16s. That's how we, that's how we have to develop. We have to stretch them as much as we can. Okay, thank you, Robbie. Cheers, thank you.